Welcome back. We now join Tennis in Glasgow. He has all the sporting action. In tonight's sports news, Olympic Flames arrives in Japan, TTFA go into CAS, and Tom Brady signs for Tampa Bay. We start off tonight's sports news with Olympics. The Olympic Flame has arrived in Japan at a scale-down ceremony due to the coronavirus pandemic. The Flame had traveled from Greece, where the official lighting ceremony was restricted to only invited officials and journalists. Normally, several thousand people would have watched the ceremony at Olympia's ancient stadium. The International Olympic Committee President Thomas Bach says the Olympic flame can be a light at the end of the tunnel in the current crisis. The IOC and Tokyo 2020 organizers have faced strong criticism over their insistence that as things stand, this summer's Olympic and Paralympic Games will go ahead as planned, with the Olympics due to begin on July 24th. A four-month torch relay will now begin, although that too could be affected by the outbreak. On to regional football, disappointed by what they consider to be an unjust, unfair and disrespectful act by the world governing body of football, FIFA, the Trinidad and Tobago Football Association, under the leadership of William Wallace, has turned to the Court of Arbitration for Sports to overturn a decision by FIFA, which on Tuesday appointed a normalization committee to run the affairs of Trinidad and Tobago football. The TTFA has retained the services of attorneys Dr. M. A. Crown and Matthew Gale to prominent sports lawyers. Ramesh Ramdan, General Secretary of the Embattled Football Association, revealed on Wednesday that the attorneys would be writing to FIFA to begin their fight against the decision. Continue with our sports news, the Seleucia Olympic Committee, Inc., mindful of all the medical advisories that they have been issued to date concerning the COVID-19 virus, has taken the decision to postpone the commencement of the second round of the CCCP course for coaches, which was due to begin yesterday, 19th March. The committee will be monitoring the situation, and once the medical experts have given the green light to resume activities in large groups, they will once again contact all the participants and provide an update in relation to the commencement of the said course. We move on now to F1 racing. The Dutch, Spanish and Monaco Formula One Grand Prix races were yesterday postponed due to the global spread of coronavirus. Officials announced that the start of the season now pushed back to June at the earliest. The triple postponements followed by the cancellation of the season opening Australian Grand Prix last week and the postponement of the Chinese, Bahrain and Vietnam Grand Prix races. The Dutch GP, due to return to the calendar for the first time since 1985, was set to be held in Zandvoort on May 3rd, with the Spanish race following a week later, and the iconic Monaco Grand Prix on May 24th. It will be the first time since 1954 that F1 has not raced in the Principality. Finally, American football. Six-time Super Bowl winner Tom Brady has signed for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers after his shock departure from the New England Patriots. Quarterback Brady said on Tuesday that he would be leaving the Patriots, ending a 20-year spell with the team. The 42-year-old announced on Instagram on Friday that he is joining Tampa Bay. The Bucks have only won the Super Bowl once in their 45 years in the NFL and are owned by the Glazer family, also owners of Manchester United. That's what's news for tonight, urging everyone to please stay safe.